a tectonic shift for the industry. Thank you, Mark. A key argument made by opponents of marijuana legalization here in Tennessee may soon be void. Yesterday, the Associated Press reported the federal government is on track to change marijuana from a Schedule I drug to a Schedule III. That shift would move marijuana from being regulated like heroin or meth and put it on par with steroids and ketamine. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilkes. So if marijuana is legalized at some point in Tennessee, what can we expect? Adam Mincer looked to other states for answers. Tennessee is one of 10 states without legalized medical or recreational marijuana. But supporters of the cannabis industry, like Joey Fuson, now have higher hopes for the future. I think it's big news for our country um, that there's a step in the right direction. On Tuesday, the AP reported the federal government is on track to ease restrictions on marijuana while still keeping it as a controlled substance. So this won't have an immediate effect on Tennessee law. However, I believe it could create a, a reevaluation of Tennessee law next year, and it may cause Tennessee legislators to actually seriously consider, consider a, mar a medical marijuana program, which they have been reluctant to do thus far. And if that resistance goes down, it does seem like there's an appetite for cannabis in the volunteer state. Trent Wolovec is the chief strategy director for Jushi Holdings. One of their cannabis dispensaries is just a few hours drive from Nashville. With our stores um, in Southern Illinois, uh, we still see uh, quite a bit of traffic uh, from states that don't have a commercial adult use program in place. Wolovic says Illinois has economically benefited from taxing cannabis products. The state of Illinois is now collecting more cannabis tax than alcohol tax. And it's not just Illinois. According to the Arizona Department of Revenue, last year the state brought in $287 million in taxes from cannabis. This is a... A vindication of the industry, a validation of the industry. But there is a negative aspect of legalization. A study by the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City found in states that legalized marijuana, substance use disorder increased 17 percent and chronic homelessness increased by 35 percent. One highway safety research group also found it can impact crashes. So we see higher insurance claim rates for collision and we see also see uh, more injury crashes. Crashes. However, as far as fatal crashes, that group says the evidence is mixed. It's important to note so many studies on the impacts of marijuana are mixed. That's why researchers are celebrating the scheduling change, because it makes it easier for them to use the drug in studies to get a better idea of what it can and can't do. Bob.